Share free 200 to 201 CBROPS reel. Questions for Cisco Certified Cyber Ops Associate Certification. 1. What are the two characteristics of the full packet captures? Choose 2. A. Identifying network loops and collision domains. B. Troubleshooting the cause of security and performance issues. C. Reassembling fragmented traffic from raw data. D. Detecting common hardware faults and identify faulty assets. E. Providing a historical record of a network transaction. Answer. C. E. 2. Which information must an organization use to understand the threats currently targeting the organization? A. Threat intelligence B. Risk scores C. Vendor suggestions D. Vulnerability exposure Answer. A. 3. Which type of access control depends on the job function of the user? A. Discretionary access control B. Non-discretionary access control C. Role-based access control D. Rule-based access control Answer. C. 4. How is NetFlow different from traffic mirroring? A. NetFlow collects metadata and traffic mirroring clones data. B. Traffic mirroring impacts switch performance and NetFlow does not. C. Traffic mirroring costs less to operate than NetFlow. D. NetFlow generates more data than traffic mirroring. Answer. A. 5. What is the difference between tampered and untampered disk images? A. Tampered images have the same stored and computed hash. B. Tampered images are used as evidence. C. Untampered images are used for forensic investigations. D. Untampered images are deliberately altered to preserve as evidence. Answer. B. 6. What is the difference between SOAR and SEAM? A SOAR platforms are used for threat and vulnerability management, but SEAM applications are not. B. SEAM applications are used for threat and vulnerability management. But SOAR platforms are not. C. SOAR receives information from a single platform and delivers it to a SIEM. D. SIEM receives information from a single platform and delivers it to a SOAR. Answer. A. 7. Which system monitors local system operation and local network access for violations of a security policy? A. Host-based intrusion detection B. Systems-based sandboxing C. Host-based firewall D. Antivirus Answer. A. 8. Which action should be taken if the system is overwhelmed with alerts when false positives and false negatives are compared? A. Modify the settings of the intrusion detection system. B. Design criteria for reviewing alerts. C. Redefine signature rules. D. Adjust the alerts schedule. Answer. A. 9. How does certificate authority impact a security system? A. It authenticates client identity when requesting SSL certificate. B. It validates domain identity of a SSL certificate. 
PC it authenticates domain identity when requesting SSL certificate. D it validates client identity when communicating with the server. Answer. B. 10. What is the difference between inline traffic interrogation and traffic mirroring? A. Inline interrogation is less complex as traffic mirroring applies additional tags to data. B. Traffic mirroring copies the traffic rather than forwarding it directly to the analysis tools. C. Inline replicates the traffic to preserve integrity rather than modifying packets before sending them to other analysis tools. D. Traffic mirroring results in faster traffic analysis and inline is considerably slower due to latency. Answer. A.